Hi, Dr. Puckett here. I wanted to share with you an article I read recently. Scientific American, they talk about a study that was done a couple of years ago, and they have oh, more than 2,000 people, and they looked at how they responded to high levels of stress. And so they measured cortisol, and I've talked with you about cortisol in other videos. This is the stress hormone. They measured levels of cortisol in their blood, and then they gave them tests to find out how well they were functioning. They gave them memory tests, organization tests, attention tests, and what they found is that these people, and these were a group of young people in their 40s, that they found that these people with the higher stress levels, the higher horm uh, cortisol hormones, they did worse than the people with the lower hormone levels. And so what that means is that high cortisol decreases how well we function. Now we know that. When we get stressed out, we're not thinking as clearly, we're not as creative. And so this goes in and just lets us know that this is the truth of how our bodies actually work. That the people with the highest cortisol levels of the group, they already had brain changes. That brain changes that they already know from other studies lead to Alzheimer's and dementia. And so this was happening to people in their 40s. So the high cortisol leads to degeneration, which leads to dementia. That's not okay. And they can see this on MRIs as well as on these functional tests. So now there was a quote by one of the researchers in here. And what she said is that getting frustrated is very counterproductive, not just to achieving our aims, but perhaps to our capacity to be productive. So not only does stress get in the way of us, our function in the moment, it gets in the way of how we're going to function next year. So we want to lower our stress, not just to get the job done right now, but also to be able to keep going in the future. Now cortisol is a necessary hormone. We have to have it. Cortisol helps us get up in the morning. It helps us deal with the stresses of the day. It helps us go between meals and not have to eat all the time. Cortisol is a hormone that we need. But when we get stuck with perpetually high levels of cortisol, that's when it turns to, into a problem and we start to degenerate our brain. Now, cortisol is not an equal opportunity problem. Some people have higher tolerances for cortisol. And so, this is not everybody's going to react the same way to stress. But what's really important is how do you react to stress? And what they found from this study is that you'll react better the lower your stress hormones are. So, no matter who you are and how well you handle it, you'll be better if you keep your stress levels to a minimal level. Okay? The things that we know from other studies that will help with this, things like sleep, exercise, socializing, relaxation, eating foods that, that lower our inflammation, these are all things that will come in and help lower our cortisol in our body. And the other thing is it's never too late. No matter how old we are, we can make these lifestyle changes and see the benefit, both for us now and for us in the future. So share this information with the stressed out people in your life because they need this. They need to know this because this is how, this is going to determine the quality of their life in the future. Thanks for spending this time with me. Uh, pass this on. Thanks. Bye-bye.